Hey guys, this is Peter, and well, for some time now, I've been telling you about 5G home internet as a, well, an, an option to traditional cable and satellite internet providers. In fact, I'm getting much better service both up and down, and with no data caps, and it's costing me a lot less than I've spent in years. So I couldn't be more thrilled, but a lot of people keep commenting on my channel, and they're concerned about 5G and its safety. And allow me to say that I share some of your concerns about 5G, but let me tell you why I'm not concerned about 5G home internet in my home. You know, first off, 5G is not a technology, but it's a technological specification. It's a definition for next generation uh, cellular that does involve a, a whole spectrum of different frequencies. And the frequencies that are used, well, that's part of the implementation. So we're talking about 5G home internet. So uh, the it's actually a, a subset of those different frequencies. You know, some of the frequencies that are involved in the 5G definitions do give me great concern. But let me tell you that the ones I'm most concerned about, they dissipate quite quickly with distance. And I'm far enough away from one of these towers that, you know, I'm not that concerned anymore. But it would be a different situation if I looked out across the street and there was one focused right on my house. That would be completely different. Right now, I'm about three quarters of a mile away, and we're going to talk about home internet. Now, I don't want to sweep some of those concerns under the rug. They are important, and let's go ahead and hit some of them. You know, cellular solutions of all kinds, we've had these phones for 20 years, they do involve radio frequencies, and the radio frequencies that do put out, uh, they're putting out can be considered, well, radio frequency radiation. And some scientists, a lot of scientists, there's been over 500 studies that are concerned about the harmful biologic and health effects of radio frequency radiation. And over 240 scientists have signed an international EMF scientist appeal asking for them to be re-looked at. But during the last administration, during all this stuff, our FCC under Ajit Pai went ahead and reaffirmed exposure limits that were set forth in the 90s based on studies in the 80s, based on the behavioral studies of rats. So you basically point enough radiation at them that it changes their behavior. We need to take another look at this. So why am I not afraid? Well, that's a good question. And listen carefully because there's an important nuance here. I never said I wasn't afraid of 5G, at least the specification and what it could be. I was saying that after looking into it, I'm not currently afraid of T-Mobile's implementation of their 5G home internet service. The difference is distance and uh, implementation. So let's take a look at some of those. You know, 5G is it higher frequency or stronger waves than I was getting before? And the answer is no. So uh, it, now it possibly could be, but right now I'm picking up band 41. And if I lived a little bit further away, I'd be picking up band 71. Both of those are the 5G frequencies that are common use with a home internet. Enough people responded back that we saw a lot of N41s and N71s. I didn't see any millimeter waves being picked up by the home internet, although it's potentially possible. The N258, the N260, and the N261. 24 gigahertz, 39 gigahertz, 28 gigahertz. Currently, the towers are too far away for me to pick any of those up, and I'm glad about that because I'm getting just enough speed right now with N41, band two and band 66, it's aggregating those together. Now I did read a scientific paper that said, well, now that we're aggregating frequencies, it could be worse, there could be harmonics. No, those frequencies are currently going out. It's the radio that's aggregating them together and it's doing them on reception. I know of no radio that's aggregating a response yet. And everyone's responding so far over 4G frequencies. Why? Because it's lower power and it passes so, so much easier. So that's why I'm seeing a difference between my upstream and my downstream. I'm okay with that. So it looks like N41, band 66, giving me the speeds that I want is exactly perfect. And I'm also getting band two sometimes. A lot of people responded back that they're getting the N71 and they're getting a, a slightly slower speed. I'd be happy with that because it's a 600 megahertz, which is 0.6 gigahertz, which is way down on the frequencies. Uh, 39 gigahertz, I'd be a little concerned about that. Some of these that are uh, being purchased by Verizon are even higher carriers than that. 
Not sure I'd want one of those near my house. Now, I'm not afraid of the phones. I'm afraid of the towers. So the fact that I have them far enough away uh, that I'm getting good home internet, I feel good about it. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm not being told what to say by T-Mobile. They don't sponsor me in any way. I have been a customer of them. That means paying them money for years. But I've been pretty happy with it. And I think their implementation is very responsible. I always think it's very, I also think it's very forward thinking. They're going to be able to use the same towers to blanket a lot of the country. I think Verizon didn't know what they were getting into. Now they're going to be trying to buy lamp posts and, and uh, repeat the signals. I think that sounds rather silly. I think uh, mid band was the way to go on this and T-Mobile just nailed it. I think that's a stock to watch. Anyway, guys, that's my two cents, and that's why I'm not afraid to have 5G home internet in my home, because it's T-Mobile, and I'm far enough away. See you in the next one. Hey, guys, uh, I will post some links to some articles that I read along the way and gained a lot of, uh, well, where I got my knowledge from. So I'll post those down below so you can take a look. But hey, give the thumbs up if it helped you out or if you enjoyed it at all. And... Um, you know, if you have a contrary opinion because you have so much knowledge, please let us know because we're always willing to learn. Anyway, guys, talk to you in the next one. Talk to you soon.